Hello guys, today we'll have a code review of Laravel, but not just Laravel, a live wire component. This is the email that I've got, and that person is asking me to review a live wire component. And they sent the live wire component called Likeable. They didn't send the full project because of intellectual property reasons, NDAs and stuff like that, but that is fine. I was able to recreate the same live wire component in my own demo project, this one. So the component will be for like and dislike, basically any entry. And the idea is that you can put the likable component on any page and attach to any Laravel model. In this case, it's a post. So the URL is post slash one. So this is a post and these are the comments. And on each of them, you can click like, and then it is saved in the database. And without refreshing the page, this one changes. If you unclick, you unlike, or you can click dislike, or if you click like, something like this. So this happens on the post and you can do the same on the comment, just like this, like that one, like that one and stuff like that. Everything happens without refreshing the page and this is why we need Livewire. But to be honest, this review will not be that much about Livewire. It will be mostly about optimizing this PHP class because under the hood, every Livewire component is actually PHP class and we will try to optimize it for not repeating the code, for not doing too many queries to the database and generally make it shorter. So let's dive in. First, for those of you who are not that familiar with how Livewire works, after you do Composer require Livewire Livewire, to enable that in your project, in your main layout like AppBlade, you need to add two things. At the head, you need to add live wire styles. At the bottom, you need to add live wire scripts. And then you do PHP Artisan, make live wire, and your component name. The component in this case is called likable, which generates the file app HTTP live wire likable. And then it also generates the blade file for that, which in the component is rendered like kind of like controller and view. There is a render function, which just returns the view of likable. So these buttons, these ones, in fact, this section is actually coming from the blade, likable blade, this one. It's Tailwind classes with buttons, and there are two buttons, and each button has a class of like button background and dislike button background, and then label and dislike button label, which means have I liked it, have I disliked it or not. And then on each click of a button, there's a method click like and click dislike, which go back to the live wire component. Yep, so this one, click like and click dislike are two methods that are called automatically. And then that blade is re-rendered for that component. So no page refresh happens, as I told you. So this is the overview of Livewire. And by the way, if you wanna know more about Livewire, I have a special course on my Teachable for the very beginners of Livewire, so you can check that out. But now let's take a look at this component. First, the obvious thing that even PHP Storm underlines for me is these things are not defined. So mount method in the Livewire components is something like construct in every PHP class. So you pass the parameters and then from the show blade, you call the Livewire components like this. So call the likable with parameters of so model type is post and model ID is post ID. And then down below in for each of the comments, you call Livewire likable with model type comment and comment ID. So these two parameters should land here and they do, but those should be defined as properties in the class. This is more just a cleanup. So it did work anyway, even without those public, but just to follow good practices. Now, what is actually the model type and the model? We see that it is defined by this get model. And in here, I'm not sure if it's the best way to do that. First, to be able to use the post or comment, you need to add them on top for use statement, which means that that component is not flexible for any kind of model. And that was, I think, the idea of the author to make it likable for any model that you want in the future. So instead of defining the classes here, you should probably be doing something like dynamic class name like this. So we do have this model type and we can replace post with this model type and then delete everything else. And we don't even need that variable model. We can just cut here and return it directly here. And this method will be just one line. Let's see if we didn't break anything. We refresh the page 
and it still loads. So there's no need for switch case. And then on top, those posts and comments are unnecessary. That said, what if someone passes wrong class name, which doesn't exist? So for example, in the comment, we pass comments, for example, then it would, of course, throw an error. And then you have a choice. You may do try catch here. So for example, try this and then catch and then throw some kind of exception. But in this case, the class name is actually not an exception, it's PHP error. And I have a separate video of what is the difference between exception and error. And I will link that in the description below. So we have error E for example, and do, I don't know, DD class not found, something like this, just as an example. So if we refresh now, it would be class not found here, or class this model type would be even more appropriate so it would give more information class this model type not found like this okay next also let's check out where that this model is actually used if we search for this model in all that class we have this model id here so saving the data then model id model id model id and what i found is that we don't use anything here except for model id and model ID is actually the parameter in the very constructor in the mount here. So we don't need the full model object. We don't really need to have the find here. Instead, we should have model ID as a private parameter and then model ID equals model ID like this. Then delete that method altogether to avoid database query because why would you need that? And then replace this model id everywhere replace to this model id i will do that in php storm model id replace all and let's refresh if it still works refresh of course on the comments we've left the error so let's fix that again and now it has the data so yeah we didn't break anything but we removed one method and one local variable next if we go to the constructor and see these these are the ones that i've showed you already so class and label for each of the buttons and to be honest i don't like how are they implemented in the functions so there's this get like button background and also there's dislike button background and dislike label. So two methods for labels and two methods for background. Now, there are a few things that I don't like here, but let's start, for example, with this get like button background. First, the formatting. I don't like that I need to scroll to the right to see the values. So if like exists for that model, then there's one value of the color. Otherwise, it's another value. So I would format it like this so it would be more readable and I wouldn't have to scroll to the right. Those values are in config likable and this is the thing that I don't really like. It's okay to have config. So it's just general Laravel config slash likable PHP with the values and default values, which is fine. But what if there is no config? What if someone that uses your Livewire component forgot to create that or made a typo in some kind of variable? There should be always, when you use config, there should be always a default value here somewhere. So if you take this from config and that from config, if the config doesn't exist, for example, let's edit those so those values don't exist. And what do we have here now? We refresh the page and we have an error. Return value must be type of string, but no returned. Of course, no return because nothing is here. But a good point here is that author uses return types. Otherwise, the error would not be caught. So let's return it as it is. And my suggestion would be probably add a default value. So config key has a default value. So for example, this callback value, if that doesn't exist. Sorry, this one. And of course, default value here as well or for active background, actually, I think it's different. So this one, and then if we refresh, nothing is broken because it comes down to default value. So basically, if you do have config values, always have default values as well. 
Another thing I don't like is in general PHP classes, the public and private methods. So those methods are called only inside of the same class, so they should be private. And not only that, for a better structure, for better readability, I tend to put the public methods first, so any new developer who would open that class would immediately understand what are the public methods that they could call from outside, and then the private methods, they don't care that much how they are implemented. So what I would do is put those get like button labels, dislike button labels, background, and this one at the very bottom and actually render is the main method for any live wire component which should be the first on top after mount probably and we have mount then render it's very simple in this case but still it should be visible that render doesn't have any logic then click like and click dislike methods they are also public because they are called from the blade here that is cool but then stuff like save like delete like all of those should be private because they are called only from inside the same class. So I will not do that in this video to save you time, but basically it should be private like this. This is for readability of any class by other developers in the future. Now let's get back to our like button background and let's see what like exists is. If we click it, it should be also private function because it is calling only from the same class and let's see we call like exist on one or minus one by the way the like structure is in the database there's likes table with polymorphic relationship so likable id is post or comment and then value is one or minus one and there's also a like model here so like where user id where those two and we check the value if it exists first let's see what php storm says about it expression can be safely replaced with bool like replace double negative probably this is enough and then probably this is enough so why a variable like this but then let's think about it like exists is called on all the four buttons so if we scroll down again so get like button label calls that then calls that this one and this one isn't it a query to the database on each of them let's see on the page i've installed a thing called laravel debug bar and here it is, I will open it and zoom it. So let's refresh the page itself and see, oh, I've messed something up. I've messed something up in like exist first. Okay, it should not be first, it should be exists. So exists or not. Okay, refresh, good, the page is loading, but now we have 35 queries to the database. And what are they? So one for the post, one for the logged in user, that's fine. But then exists from like, where post equals one. Then the same query is repeating, absolutely the same query. And then we check for dislike, the same post with ID one and value minus one, and then that query repeats itself. So as I was expecting, there are four queries to the database on each of that block. Same happens with comment. Getting the comments, so all the comments for that post, and then for each of the comments, likeable ID 12, four queries, likeable ID 15, four queries. So there's just too many queries to the database. What I would do instead is move that query to the very beginning to the mount method. Let's see, to the very top. So on the mount, we would do one query. So for example, likes would be all likes by that author and by that model. Doesn't matter the value. We do get, and then for each of likes as like then if like value equals one then we would have private property or public property actually private property so private has like equals false private has dislike equals false but if we do find those then if like value equals one this has like equals true, else this has dislike equals true. Dislike equals true. Like this. And probably for optimization, let's just select only the thing that we need, which is value. Pretty sure it could be optimized into one sentence with some kind of collections. But anyway, our goal is to have fewer queries. So now if we scroll down to the like exists again, 
we should return those valuables immediately. So return if like type is like we return this has like otherwise this has dislike like this and we remove all that query and also in the mount method on top I've changed behind the scenes the like before those backgrounds because the like should be set before those buttons are rendered right and now if we refresh we have 11 queries the values are still here the buttons are colored the labels are okay but instead of having 35 queries we have 11 and we probably will not get lower than this because those repeating queries are coming from different components so this comment is one component and you need a query for that this another is a component and you need a query for that so this one this one this one and basically if you want to render 10 components on the same page you would get 10 queries so that is okay not ideal but that's how that components are supposed to work the next thing i would optimize is two methods for each action so there's click like and click dislike then if you scroll down we have delete like and delete dislike and then save like and save dislike i guess all of them should be combined in one method each so delete like would be one method with a parameter of plus one or minus one or string like dislike not sure which is better and then the method would be twice as short so you wouldn't need that function save like and delete like are okay but then you wouldn't need delete dislike or save dislike i won't perform that optimization in this video to save you time you get the idea then we get to the save function which is called probably from somewhere else so this should be also private and in here we could shorten this i'm not sure if it's needed but probably a better way would be auth user then likes and then create and then the parameters for that would be likable you just add likable id uh, means this model id then likable type and value so likable type and value of course those should be fillables in the model fillable array so model type here and like value here so like value should be on top and then instead of six lines of code you have five lines of code but this is more readable to me this is my personal preference but whatever you prefer you can use save with assigning each variable and this is fine of course it should be like value here not sure what happened here so like value here and like value here so whichever you prefer i just wanted to show you another option and then wandering around that whole class i found the methods quite useless or it could be refactored so for example save dislike what it does checks if like exists then deletes or save the dislikes and changes the config button it should be all done within the same save function i think so saving likes or deleting it and then changing the config buttons i'm not sure if those separate methods like save dislike or save like of course those could be one method they are still performing the save so save method here and general save method here it's kind of even misleading what it does just by the name so i would probably do one save method which in turns if needed calls the delete but even that delete let's take a look at what delete does so delete dislike for example or delete like so get like another function let's see what get like is it's getting the like do we actually need that let's see find usages in php storm so only in the delete like and only in the delete dislike so we're doing another query to the database to get the like and then like delete why get like as a separate method it could be just one eloquent query here that's it and also found a method that wasn't even used at all so there's get like type this one if we go find usages nothing found so maybe there was an idea of get like type by the specific like but in this component it wasn't really implemented so all in all that component does okay job but it could be really shortened really optimized and not perform that many sql queries so this is my review maybe a little bit negative but the author asked for a review and here it is what do you think anything you would add to that review shoot in the comments below and if you want more examples of livewire i have a special project called livewire kit where i have my own component set of components 33 livewire components 
including something similar like like and dislike, which is upvoting and downvoting posts. So you can see my implementation. Also, there are a lot of live wire effects like live validation, live charts, multi-step form, add to cart, inline editing, also comment form as it is dynamic. So it could be loaded as well with live wire and more things. So you can purchase that all, all components for $29. It's not a monthly fee, it's one-time fee, and you get the archive for download and get invited into GitHub repository with all the components. So check that out and see you guys in other videos.